Energy is an important topic. By 2050, Europe must be climate neutral and offshore wind energy is seen as one of the key technologies. For this, wind turbines must also be able to be placed in deeper waters where most wind energy can be found. Floating wind turbines can provide access to these locations. However, there is even more energy to be gained from wind turbines, especially when they are placed in large wind farms. This has to do with the wake. The wake is an area of low wind speed behind a turbine. If this wake interacts with another turbine in the farm, it can result in a reduced energy production of up to 25% for the affected turbine. At TU Delft, we are working on technologies to reduce this wake. Active control of the turbine blades plays an important role. By actively turning the blades of the wind turbine, the wake behind the turbine is disrupted. This process is called wake mixing, where low energy wind mixes with high energy wind from outside of the wake. There are two popular blade rotation techniques, the pulse and the helix. With the pulse, the turbine blades are tilted simultaneously, resulting in a pulsating effect on the wake. With the helix, each blade is tilted individually, resulting in a spiral effect on the wake. Moving the turbine blades also triggers the movement of the floating platform, increasing the disturbance of the wake. As a result, wind turbines can be placed closer together and the energy yield is bigger. If the movement of a floating turbine can be leveraged to reduce the turbine-to-turbine -turbine interaction, then it becomes interesting to optimize the floating wind turbine to enhance this movement. This is part of ongoing research at the TU Delft and on a larger scale, one of the key research goals of the Flowtech project.